Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Game Zone. So this is going to be the ultimate guide of V2's Urge for Demon Hunter. And in this video, I'm going to discuss a lot of things. And I will start from the basic here. Like what is V2's Urge? How to use it properly for Demon Hunter? Also, what bonus attributes from the family set? buff is the best for demon hunter with v2's urge also what legendary gems are best what strategy is the best to use v2's urge also what essence you guys should use to make the best demon hunter so without any further ado let's get into it all right so v2's urge is best used for those classes that has beneficial skills with them and that are actually usable for the class it's not like that you have a beneficial skill and it's useless and just because of virtus hours you are forced to use it it's it is not the thing with demon hunter because the skills that demon hunter is going to use with the e2's virtus hours is actually really good and there are going to be two of them let me just show you also i'm going to tell you how you can know that the skill is actually a beneficial skill so when you click here on the vengeance here you can see here it says in the green color it's a buff skill meaning it's a beneficial skill also there's another skill here for the demon hunter which is smoke screen and actually this skill is really good and there are three reasons for it and i will tell you guys later in the video but we are going to use two beneficial skills or you can say buff skill for the demon hunter to make this to make the bills working but before we get into that, I'm going to read the description of V2's Urge here out loud for you guys so you would know what it does. So here it goes. Increase the duration of all beneficial effects on you or your party member by 35%. So let's say you have a vengeance and its duration is 6 seconds. With the V2's buff here, it's going to get to 8 seconds. And the second buff here is increase the target attack speed by 30 percent for three seconds each time you use a skill to grant a beneficial effect to yourself or a party member so this set is not just good for you but it is also really good for your party because you will be able to provide them with the with the 30 percent of attack speed for three seconds and just imagine when we provide the attack speed to the entire party that is actually a hundred twenty percent more damage because of the buff that you are providing which is getting divided into three more plays three thirty percent for you and thirty percent for each party member that becomes hundred and twenty percent attack speed for three seconds meaning you can deal 120% more damage so this set is just not good for you but it's also good for the party whether you're going in Patagon in the party or doing raids or doing dungeons you can provide a lot of buffs to your party as well and in order to provide that buff to your party you need actually a smoke screen here so as you can see this is going to be the radius for you to provide a buff to your party so whoever is going to be in the radius you can buff them what i normally do is i get close to the party members then i trigger my smoke screen because you cannot expect other to get close to you so you have to go uh, and get close to them and this way i provide them with the buff here but this isn't just the reason why we are using smoke screen here the second reason we are using smoke screen is because it also give 
us the attack speed for three seconds. If we had only one buff skill like vengeance, then having a skill buff for three seconds is not worth it. So as a demon hunter, you actually needed another one. And uh, smoke screen actually served that really well. We can buff ourselves, our party, and also if you are going to run with the legendary gem that is a bottle hope which is also a beneficial legendary gem you can also give this buff the bottle ne hope buff to your party and it will work with them so this is actually really great and uh, demon hunter is not only good for per i mean doing damage by itself but it is really good to provide damage buffs to his party as well and the best way to use virtuous arts is this rig so let me just show you what you have to do to use this buff the right way is go with the vengeance first it will trigger the virtuous for the three second attack speed buff once you see the worm wheel on your feet is gone activate your smoke screen so you get your attack speed back so let me just show you once again all right we, vengeance is activated all right now smoke screen this is the best way to use this set go with the vengeance first then use a smoke screen another really good use of Vitus buff is let me just show you here i have my daring swing here and you can see the animation right it's quite good here but let me just show you with the Vitus arch buff i'm going to use this as you can see the speed also increased for the animation of jumping so this is actually a really good way to speed up yourself and escape the danger especially in pvp it actually works really good let me just show you with double jump here you can not only do this with the smoke screen you can also do this with the vengeance as you can see i travel really fast with that buff so it's really good there are a lot of strategies linked to this Vitus buff which you can use and so far it is one of the best set for doing DPS and also providing buffs to your party members. And in top of that if you guys are running with the Mastermind Paragon Tree in Dungeons of Raid, this Paragon Tree is going to be really good to provide extra buff to your party especially this one here and what it does is increase your critical hit chance by 2.5 percent for each different class present in your party so it can goes up to 10 percent critical hit chance for you and your party as members as well so there's a lot of things that you can provide to your party as well to yourself and keep in mind you only need to use four pieces of Vitus Arch to have the first and the second buff. You don't need all six pieces. Instead you can go with the Shalba's first buff here which will provide you with extra primary damage increase by 15% and that is actually really good for Demon Hunter. All right, now I'm going to share my skills and what essence I'm using that I think are best in my opinion. So I'm going to start here with the Hungwer, a very basic weapon that everyone is using as Demon Hunter with the crossbow shot. Crossbow shot will now pierce through enemies, which is really basic here. So there's no need to ex explain anything there. Uh, on my main weapon i'm using breath of winters and what it does is multi-shot now fires frost arrows that damage and kill enemies this is actually really good for many reasons there is another version of it which actually 
put enemies on fire but in my opinion that one is not great and there are many reasons for that but anyways i'm just going to share why breath of winter is really good the first reason that it says it will kill enemies meaning they will slow down and the second reason is their attack speed also slows down with their movement speed so you can slow them down and you can also slow down their attack speed and when you are in pvp against a player it will do the same thing to a player they will get slow and also their attack speed will get slower as well and i'm not sure about it but they won't be able to use their skills instantly they will also get slow they will feel a little lag in using their skills so breath of winter is really good and there's another reason you guys should use it so if somebody is running with the paragon tree which is gladiator uh, which prevent enemies from loss of control when you use breath of winter multi shot on them the gladiator passive will trigger with the multi shot and then you'll be able to fire fire it again to slow it them down so this is actually really good you can use your first shot of multi shot to take away their loss of control passive and then shot them again to slow them down and then use a vengeance and i have a strategy here in pvp and pve as well which i'm going to share it with you guys i have come to like scattered mask a lot and basically the reason is because it causes loss of control when you activate your vengeance so i always use this strategy here in battleground first i will shoot my multi shot with breath of winter on enemies take away their loss of control uh, passive from the gladiator tree then i'll jump on them and when i'm close to them i'm going to use my vengeance and what it will do is it will cause them to lose control entirely for one second and trust me within one second demon hunter can cause so much damage then you can literally kill almost 75 percent of the players if you do it right and top of that if you guys are using or or have a chip of the stone flesh gem for the demon hunter it will not only i mean the scattered mark will not only cause a loss of control but also a chip of the stone will will turn that play into stone and you will be able to deal some extra damage to the player but if you are a free to play guy i would still suggest you to use a scattered mask because you can still cause an enemy to lose control and he won't be able to shoot back to you for entire one second and you can make the effect stronger in pvp because when you go into the pvp the effect reduces down like 2x so instead of three seconds it will be only one second but you can actually make that stronger with the normal gems here if you make if you upgrade them a lot and get the potency you can make your loss of control or breath of the winter or any loss of control or the chill or any effect you can make them stronger so it is an option here but it takes a lot of time to upgrade them but this is actually a really good strategy to make people lose control and you'll be able to deal a lot of damage without having or thinking of that you will get hit back all right moving forward on the chest here i'm using pretty basic here for the vengeance and uh, it's the heart of vengeance cooldown decrease 15 percent which is i think everyone is using it is really good for demon hunter especially when you're 
using vengeance and the week two's urge it is really important that your cooldown on your vengeance and smoke screen is the lowest as possible then here on my shoulder as you can see i really like loss of control essence on my demon hunter so even when i'm in pvp and if i jump on somebody and the guy has still the passive which prevent a loss of control from the gladiator i can just jump on him and it will trigger that loss of control passive for him then instantly i can use my vengeance on him and make him lose control and i can just shoot him for one in second entirely uh, without any danger and lastly here for the pant this is actually really good i mean this is actually really good and what it does is your critical hit chances increase by 50 percent for one second after smoke screen concealment ends so this buff not only actually works for you but you can also give this buff to your party so there are a couple of buffs that you can give to your party if you have a battle or a bottle of hope legendary gem you can give that buff to your party as well you can give them 30 percent attack speed for three seconds you can give them critical hit chance for one second and that is actually really insane for the demon hunter uh, demon hunter is a really good dps and buff class which it can provide to his party so yeah this pen is actually really good also it helps really good in pvp when you get close to an enemy and use this pent you can actually do a lot of damage within one second because of this pent it's actually really good so now that we are done with our essence here and i think i have explained everything to you guys now that we can move on to the legendary jumps and the family attributes which in my opinions are great and you guys can use those to further increase your damage and buff as well so let's get into that all right let me tell you one thing don't you ever do this that i have done try to activate the family attributes because right now in the current game states it's complete garbage utter utter useless so don't bother and don't waste your reforce stone instead go something like this for the demon hunter i'm just going to show you the buff that you guys should get which will give you the best results so let's me let's get into it from the wildfire stone get the primary attack damage because for the demon hunter it's a dream come true so get that in all your gear pieces just this one from the wildfire stone then moving forward to the vengeance stone get the attack speed only in all your gear pieces and nothing else so the first primary attack the second attack speed and lastly in the ravager stone i think yep this one i think oh uh, not no 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 the barrier stone maybe it's the barrier stone where is it <coughs> did i lost him where is it? oh yeah to the joel stone finally the last buff you guys should get is the duration of beneficial effect increase get this in all your gear pieces and it will further increase your duration of vengeance with the v2's urge so not you will be able to use this buff for three seconds it can goes up to four 4.5 second easily i'm trying to save and get reforce stone so i can get this so i can extend my duration for the buff of uh, buff of vitus urge so i can be able to stay in the buff for more than three seconds and also 
it will increase the duration of your vengeance from 8 seconds to maybe 10 seconds so this is actually a must have these are the setup you guys should go with with the bonus attributes and it will give you some really good results and they are going to be consistent not like the family buff sets they are useless all right now we are going to talk about the legendary gems i'm going to start with the free to play the first one that you guys should get from the season pass is forever and fang as you can see mine is rank 7 this is one of the best gem for demon hunter then carson invigoration to increase your attack speed it is really good for demon hunter as a free to play you guys should get this then the third gem which I would suggest is Berserker Eye. It's really good for increasing all damage you deal. And it goes up to 16% as well on rank 10. Then Everlasting Torment. The reason why I'm suggesting is because of this. Increase your attack speed by 1.5% for each nearby enemies inflicted with agony. It will goes up to 6% if I'm not wrong. So each enemy that you put on bleed will give you further attack speed. So it's really good for V2 Arch and also as a free to play. So this is actually really good. Then the fifth gem is power in command. It is actually really good for Demon Hunter. The reason is because you have a primary attack which you will be using and vengeance. So combining vengeance and primary attack meaning this power and command will always be in use for demon hunter so this is actually really good and the last gem which i would suggest is hold on yeah the bloody reach i would suggest bloody reach or anything let me see no actually i would suggest bloody reach here it's really good it will give you extra damage as well and the best way to upgrade them is to get the rare quest from the hills trader and craft them and use the gem power as well also if you play in party with other members every day you will get or you have a chance of getting 12 normal gems which you can sell here on the market and earn some platinum which will further improve your progress with the gems which i have been doing a lot lately as you can see my earning is close to 600k platinum which i have been doing anyways this is for the free to play gems and now for the mid user like me who has spent 300 330 dollars uh minusing all the packs i mean the skins bono plenty or battle passports or the only deals that i bought around 300 dollars 320 maybe so as a mid spender the best gems for demon hunter is farman fang carson invigoration bottle hole because it's a beneficial uh beneficial legendary gem and it's a really good one for demon hunter then echoing shade is actually really good for demon hunter because since you'll be dealing damage with your primary you can proc the clones all the time and they deal actually a lot of damage for demon hunter so it's a really good legendary gem then this is my choice here chip of the stone flesh is really good i'm using it with my skeleton mask here this is really good you can use something else maybe blood soak jade which i'm going to use i'm actually going to replace my sleeping bile here with the blood soak jade so i can get some extra damage sleeping bile is actually good but same uh, since i'm a only mid spender i can earn enough to upgrade both of them because they are really expensive in the market so i can only invest my energy on upgrading just one gem at the moment so this is why i'm going to replace sipping bile with my 
blast soak gene so this way i can have like fervent pang in carson immigration bottle hope blast soak jade echoing shade and chip of the stone flesh but if you guys want to do to do it the other way around just replace the chip of the stone with blood soak jade and keep rest of the gems and you will see a really good output as well so i think i have covered up everything in the video uh and yeah i think that's it so virtus arch is actually one of the best right now for the demon hunter because it does the most damage also it provides really good buff to your party member and with these pills you can shine a lot whether you're spending or not spending you just have to be patient and keep working on your gems your builds and you will see a really good result and yeah this is it for the video and i'll see you guys in my next one if you guys like the guide let me know in the comment section or if you guys have any question i will get back to you and until then take care and have fun bye guys